Hello from Snake Mountain Boatworks on Tuesday, May 19. I've been beaten up just a little bit by a bunch of you folks who follow Snake Mountain Boatworks videos. Where's the riv? What happened to the riv? Did the riv fall in the lake? Did she sink? Is she gone? No, no, and no. Here she is. We have all her hardware on. The windshield is next. We are assembling her engine. And once we have all the final components of the engine in hand, we will bench run it for a couple of hours. Uh, those triple carbs are not the easiest in the world to synchronize and we'd rather synchronize them at least initially before she's under load while the engine is sitting on a, a bench in the shop rather than floating out in the lake. So we yesterday set her on her brand new Sea Lion tandem axle electric disc brake trailer. Uh, yes, I know the bow tower is not here. Uh, a major fault with almost every boat that comes to Snake Mountain Boatworks is that it comes riding a trailer with a dinky little bow tower and several very nice furrows dug uh, in the bow where the line uh, between the boat and the winch have uh, found a home. This trailer was no exception. We've uh, sent the, trail, the bow tower out to our fabricator and when we're finished adding two feet of height to it, the winch will rise well above the deck so that the winch, the winch line will actually come down at an angle something like this. Not only does that allow me to escape from putting furrows in this beautiful bow. Uh, it also is a great asset when retrieving the boat. These short bow towers that grab onto God knows what on the boat and you yank her in, pulling that bow down into the trailer and the language that emits is uh, <laughs> hardly for polite company. If you raise your bow tower so that the winch is anywhere, oh, the top of the winch, top of the barrel, is anywhere from, I'd say, at least six inches to as much as uh, a foot, maybe a foot and a half above the deck. As you retrieve your boat, you'll be pulling her bow up and helping her onto her trailer. So here's the riv. 1952, 18 foot. I purposely purchased a trailer that uh, has a capacity that's well beyond what this boat demands. Uh, this trailer's capacity uh, uh, is somewhere around 5,500 pounds. It has four sets of bunks beneath the boat. And you notice that the center bunks, the big ones, extend well beyond the transom. Not only will this provide excellent support, you notice that the rudder is now protected from wayward drivers, particularly those people backing up when they uh, really shouldn't be backing up. So here she is. We'll keep working on her. About a month from now, mid-June, I would say, maybe the, even the first week of June, she'll be in the water. We'll have all her original upholstery back in the cockpit. The KBL will be in her bilge, hatch cover in place, and we'll be off to the races. Thank you so much from Snake Mountain Boatworks.